Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. Of course, today guys, I will show you how to on any smartphone and this issue that I'll be showing you to fix involves not receiving your SMS or your text veri verification um, codes. So for example, if you're trying to use um, two-step authentication or two-factor authentication on any of your accounts and you find that um, they are indicating that they have sent out the text message and you're waiting for the text message on your phone and you're not getting a text message even if you try to resend it several times or maybe I've been trying for days and you're still unable to get that message all right I'm gonna show you to fix the problem now um, in this situation I was having the problem with this mm -hmm. phone it usually um, receives the text fine but suddenly it started to give issues so these are the are these are the exact steps that I use to fix the problem and I'm sure of course to help you as well all right so the first thing I did was to remove the sim card from my device um, so you're gonna go ahead and um, open up your device and what you're gonna do is locate your sim card um, tray all right so once you have opened up the device yours might be a little bit different um, in this case the sim card was here for this device so simply remove the sim card and what I ended up doing, guys, was to place in it. Um, and what I did, guys, was to place in it into a different smartphone. And once I place it into um, a more reliable phone, so um, of course, as you saw before, that was a generic Android device. Um, so for some reason, once I place it into a more reliable phone like um, the iPhone over here, I noticed that straight away, as soon as I place the SIM in. And of course, I resent the verification message by trying to log in again. I noticed straight away, guys, that the message came in on this device while on the other phone from before. Um, and from before, it was not coming in any at all. So sometimes it's because of these um, aftermarket or these generic phones. Sometimes the SIM um, card, it can be the device itself. I don't know what was actually causing it, but of course, the phone itself was the issue in that case. And once I place it over into the new phone, right away I notice I got the message. So that's one tip. The second thing that you can try, guys, is again, you can try to... Next thing, guys, you can try to do, guys, is to, um, if you don't have a secondary phone, is to go ahead, guys, and remove the SIM card on yours. It might be different. For example, on the iPhone over here, it's as simple as um, using a paper clip or the tool to eject the same tool that will pop right up all right so it could be um, slightly the um, similar so all you gotta do guys is just remove the sim once you remove the sim card make sure the phone is off and you're gonna check your sim to make sure it's not bent um, if the sim is not bent sometimes it might be flexed a bit um, in some cases you can straighten it back out um, I would advise you do not try to bend it any at all um, clean off the metal terminal and then you're going to um, put in the SIM once again back into its um, cradle or into its port. And once you do, you can go ahead and um, seal up the, the phone or close back up your phone if it's like this one. Or just simply um, put the SIM tray back in place. Once you do, guys, go ahead and start back up the phone. Or if it's a case where the phone doesn't have to be restarted, such as this one that you can hot swap simply reboot the phone once you do and it start back up again what should happen is that in some cases you'll find that the messages came in um as i was saying earlier i had it with this phone where i wasn't getting them for a while then as soon as i switched the sim over i started getting on this phone however i noticed once i placed the sim back into this phone um it started to, the messages started to come in and as a result of that i um basically figured that it must have been that the sim was not fully seated although the phone was showing network and i was able to make calls and all of that but for some reason the messages weren't coming in so it must be a problem with these generic phones so you want to check your sim cradle as it can be the sim cradle as well so make sure that it is the um, sim is seated fully in the sim tray cradle next thing you can do guys is just to do a reboot um that's one of the quickest thing to do to simply reboot your phone sometime when your phone is on for a long period it has issues such as receiving messages so it's a good idea to go ahead and reboot so it's simple but do i do try it guys um next thing you can try guys the fourth option is you can go into your settings inside of your um text message so i'm gonna go ahead and try that now all right guys so you're gonna open your messages once you're in your messages go ahead and tap on the lines here it might be different on your device but basically try to find your message settings 
So go ahead and tap, then you're gonna go down to the option that says setting. All right, so once you're in uh, this menu, guys, um, next, you're gonna um, go ahead and you're gonna search for spam protection. Make sure it's off. So go ahead and look for the spam option. If it's on, try to turn it off. It might be what's blocking you in this case. Also, go to your block list. So for example, um, there might be a feature that's turned on that you're using to um, block. So go ahead and um, look out for any block features. Make sure that no critical numbers are blocked. All right. Um, also, if your phone allows it, go ahead and look for your message center number. It should match with your carrier center number so you will be able to receive text efficiently to your device. Sometimes if the center number is wrong, this phone doesn't show it. Um, it should be somewhere in the message settings. You can see a number and that number is used as a center for receiving and sending messages. So just go ahead and scan for that option. If you see a number there that's a message center number, go ahead and call up your carrier or of course check online what's the message center number should be to verify it. If it's wrong, go ahead and change it out. Next thing you can try guys, if possible, back up your messages or make sure you don't um, have any message that you don't want to lose. Um, as this step might, in most cases, doesn't delete. In this device, it doesn't delete the messages. But as I said, be warned that it might. this step might delete your messages. Do not want that um, to be done. So bear that in mind before you're trying this particular step. So go to settings. Once you're in settings, guys, go to apps. Once you see all of your apps, my yours might be slightly different. So once you're in here, guys, you're going to search for your messages. You're going to select messages. Then you're going to go to storage. Once you're in storage, guys, you're going to clear the cache. Clear the cache. And of course, next you're going to clear storage. All right. So once you clear storage, I'm going to do it on this one. You should go back and you should find, well, sorry, before you check your messages, go ahead and reboot. Once you reboot, you're going to go to your messages, guys. And of course, um, you can go ahead and try again to send that verification message. Chances are it should be received this time, all right, without issues. Also, if you have um, a lot of messages, go ahead and delete some of the unnecessary messages. It might be that your mailbox or your messages are full and no new messages can come in as your um, messages are full or you have reached a limit on the amount of messages that you can receive. And just to... Um, top off guys you can go ahead and call your carrier um, they can look into the matter for you sometimes it's something from their side so if it's something that's carrier based they can look into that and probably assist you so go ahead and give them a ring um, other things that you can try as well guys is you can um, see um, on your page if there's another way to verify your account sometimes they do give or some um, services that you're trying to log into with a two-factor authentication or verification process sometimes it allows you to use your email as a backup method so go ahead and look around the page it might be hidden behind an option so go ahead and of course if you see something like I have lost um, the um, device the activation device like your phone they'll use or give you another option such as your email to use or another device as trusted that you might have on you that can be used to activate your activate your account and of course send you that code that you can use to um, get past the two-factor authentication and of course guys sometimes it can be that the service that you're using is having a break and their server is not sending out the message in that case it's a simple matter of um, nothing that you can do i suggest that you take a break and come back in an hour or another day and of course some other times guys you can actually go out and um, do some research to see if um, their servers are down. For example, let's say if it was um, Amazon that you were trying to log into, go ahead and um, just do a quick check or a Google search to see if Amazon is having any issues. Sometimes it might be that they're having issues and that's, that's why you're having the problem. All right. So I think I've covered everything. I hope I did so thoroughly. Um, if you have any feedback or comments, please use the comment sections below. And as always, guys, Ricardo Gardner with another set of tips showing you how to um, deal with a problem where you're not getting your verification code or activation code for two-factor authentication to log into your accounts or to change settings, major settings in your account. All right, Ricardo Gardner saying bye until next time. Bye.